Hello everyone. Oh my god. Wrong, wrong screen, wrong screen. Sorry. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be watching a Space by Internet Historians Incognito Mode. Let's check it out in the kind of 3, 2, 1, go. Space. Space. What is space? Why do I have to wear a spacesuit? That is so formal. Too cold? Not a problem. I'll just put on a jacket. Oh my Why god. Why does everyone say you can't go faster than oh, the speed Joker. of light? Oh, Joker! That was Joker. Simple. Just go the speed of light, and then you push on the accelerator a little more. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Not the sun. The water will put it out. Play Alexa. <laughs> play who lets the dogs out. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't Alexa, do that. Alexa, play the thing. The no, no. Alexa, play who Dave let the dog... <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Now I will Alexa be able to get it. all the best nudes. Yeah, you should have closed your curtains. Ooh, I what wonder what's the in there. What the fuck? Is that the oh, hey, how you doing, little fella? <laughs> oh, I think he's just sleeping. Aha! I knew it was oh fake my the whole God. time. The moon landing. All this and more on this episode of In the... The Field. <laughs> Space. Space. What do you know about space? Uh, what do I... Uh, not a lot. Okay. Let's start at the very beginning. Oh. Not the Jesus. beginning of the universe. Oh. The beginning of oh, then, then. how people thought space was. Oh, yeah. So the history oh, yeah. of space. Okay. Yeah. So we've got Flat Earth right. Now there's going to be a whole bunch of people in the comments that go, Oh, actually, they've known that the world Earth was round since the Greeks. We know. We know. Everybody but they knows. get no killed if they Shut up. But there were it. plenty of societies that yeah. did think that the world was flat. Yeah, I saw this in a lecture once, or I overheard it on the bus or something. But this is how it goes. You've got like this circular flat earth, right? And then you've okay. got yeah. land in the middle. They call this area the Mediterranean, because that's the middle land. Oh, right? makes sense. Right middle center. earth. And then right. past the land, you've got water. Now, all that water is mostly fine, Caspian but if you go a little further out, there's a lot more water, like a shitload more water. These disc maps you see are not to scale. It goes way further out. But if you okay. try to traverse them, what will happen is sea monsters, right? They'll destroy your ship. Easy. And of you course. can tell that sea monsters are real because once in a while you get some weird thing that washes up to shore. If somehow you An make octopus. it past the sea monsters, you encounter mud just mud it's flat mud mm, and it mixes stupid. with the land so you can no longer pass by it in a boat so you can try to walk across it but it's basically like quicksand you know you just, just straight it's into not it. like quicksand but mud somehow, is way slower than quicksand this plane of mud which is even larger than the ocean itself it would start to get colder and colder and eventually that mud becomes frozen and then it turns to ice and then holy it's just shit that's very bigger this for far far longer we need an mmo with this map and then eventually you come to a big mountain range and this mountain range goes right round the earth and it is the thing that at the very top holds up the filament which is the thing that encompasses the stars so the mountains go up and then it like holds the star yeah. canopy above uh -huh. the heavens. Yeah, that makes sense. Half of the model is there to dissuade people from trying to find new things, right? Because if you uh, go out on a boat in the ocean, hmm. you die. It's to keep the, the Colum Columbus as hey, look, bay, Don't bother trying to discover Australia. If you go out there, you're going to get eaten, then you're going to sink in the mud, then you're going to freeze to death, <laughs> oh and then there's God. also nothing out there. And that's yeah. what keeps and everyone mountains. safe and alive. You tell the same story to your kid in the village to not go out into the woods. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing. And that, circling around, is why they tell us not to go to Mars, you see. Don't come back. I do think we'll colonize Mars. <laughs> Probably Easily. not quite Easily. in our lifetime. Reckon? That's, I yeah. think we'll land a person there on Mars. 8,000 years, years from now. 20 years? Nah, yeah, no fucking way. <laughs> 1,000 years, it's going to take 1,000 years to get there. The race to the moon was out and of keep it with there, the Soviet you know? Union, right? Then we beat them and everyone went, nah, can't be bothered. Now we're back at war with China. So I reckon space race back on. Otherwise, China's going to stick a big flag oh in it and say, actually, you know what, Mars? It's always belonged to China. <laughs> Their flag would look better on Mars. <laughs> to be fair, saying. yeah. It would blend in too much. It yeah. already looks like a flag for Mars. It's got True. stars on it and it's red. 
It's perfect. Mars Federation Let, Republic. I, what was it? In it. Expense. I give it to them. That shit was so <laughs> good. Expense real. is really good. <laughs> a lot of people are probably going to die colonizing Mars, like, at first. <laughs> this is true. They've got the manpower for it. Everyone will just be fighting over the bit where everyone's landing. It's not like someone will be like, well, I'm going to go over to this part of Mars and, like, that'll be my part. Yeah, I think no, I'm going to stay here all of where the Twinkies and the women arrive. I think you'd want to sit up at the poles because mm. that's where all the ice is, right? Resources. Ooh, cool. But also, because of the rotation of the planet and the angle you come in, it's actually more difficult. Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. This is Citadel soundtrack from Mass Effect 2, isn't it? I remember. Oh, this is. And Mass Effect 3. That, 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 this is a Citadel's OST. The Emporium. Specifically, maybe the memorial too. I don't remember correctly. I mean, I play Mass Effect uh, like religiously every few years, but like you know, I remember this shit. This is beautiful. The land there as well. I see. So you would have to actually, essentially, approach by land. Easier to defend. So you're there on the ice. You've got all your water, mm -hmm. and then you're just picking off anyone who appears yeah. to approach in a, one of those Mars I mean, rovers. China has automatic robots who shoot basically anything anyway it's like they have ai in them that is like shoot any living being we can just put them on mars they don't need any maintenance like we maintenance that humans need like no oxygen food or bullshit <laughs> the curiosity it's solar right panel and they're so set to go super fun so you're saying if you're going to fight for mars, fun. you stay at the top so mm -hmm. this is mine mm -hmm. i like that yeah solid build a big igloo big ice wall igloo. tell everyone to get the fuck out that'd be awesome <laughs> i love that yeah. it's gonna melt I mean, does it gonna melt? I don't know. The atmosphere is gonna melt Here's the to some degree. It's 1960s, NASA, and they can't figure out the how pressure. to get things into space. It's too far up, you see. Uh, how do we get past the filament into the stars? Ordinary things, you're our best scientist. You gotta come up with something that'll get us there. Ah, what do you got? Ordinary rocket propulsion, perhaps? Mentos and Coke. What's the big new idea? <laughs> so this is what I've got so far. Um, right. It... it Ah, a man kneeling on the ground, praying to get to space. I like it. That's a great idea, or no thing. Let me get you the funding right now. God damn. No, not quite. This is a dog. See, my plan is uh, a trebuchet. <laughs> sort of a trebuchet, yeah. Uh, let me show you my idea. You heard of CERN, right? Yeah, yeah, they got the big oh, uh, underground thing. Super yes. hydrant collider. So CERN is basically a 25 kilometer ring underground. Fucking Amane Suzuha, man. Gigantic magnets. That send particles in one direction, getting them faster and faster and faster, and then they send particles in the other direction. Yeah, and then the speed between them is higher, uh, almost double the amount of a speed of light. They let them collide. Cool. Now, what if you had an extra track? Yes. That went like this. <laughs> you got something up to 99% the speed of light, and then you just hit the switch, and then capsule goes whoosh, terminal velocity love that so you're thinking you build up as much momentum as possible on earth using magnets rather than rockets yep is it the size of atoms in this it instance? is a fucking or... we're gonna have to on. all right bigger sun <laughs> got it all right massive sun. Well, you just it's a hydrogen proton ah, uh, yeah, all right yeah. the, it, it weighs like what i don't even know because it's so small it's a hydrogen proton usually they send it around and of course, electrons. Size hole too small. The only problem I can see is that I mean, we're sending people all through together, the Earth's atmosphere so. at almost the speed of light. They will immediately explode. I think the solution is to put a dog in it. <laughs> yeah. A dog. Do you know how funny it would be <laughs> if it was like a Tuesday and the supervisor was out of the office for the day, oh, and then God. he kind of came back. Oh, I just forgot some of my papers, and he comes in, and the guys CERN are all gathered around because they're firing great through through CERN. <laughs> <laughs> Damn grapefruit has a uh, positive charge, it might be system. possible. Yeah man, I'm, I'm gonna do a shit in the sun. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the sun. I find it very difficult not 24 to get hours sleep. <laughs> yes sir. If I was there. You got on that blimp. Do you reckon you can get into CERN? I reckon I could give it a go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can just walk into the CERN, talk and say, can I see it? They open it for public to see at some point like they do it i've seen people go in and check it out it's not a really secretive thing anyways <laughs> all right area you 51 that shit is secret yeah. my boy needs a ticket and one for his lady i'll email them now
people are thinking about space travel all wrong. They're rubes. Those guys at NASA, rubes. I tell you, rubes. They keep trying to send us. Rubes? As in ropes? As in fake authority or something? To space. I don't, we know. I don't understand. Space to us. That's not a bad idea at all. Now, space elevator, very difficult. You build the thing a thousand kilometers up, it and is. then the tip of it is actually rotating faster than the base of it by differences in like hundreds of kilometers an hour. Tensile strength, psh, whole thing wants to break Destroy apart, this, right? Yeah. Now, if somehow you could make a big anchor, wait, how do you An draw an anchor? Uh, uh, On here, the moon. It wouldn't need to be one rope, because one rope <laughs> is not going to stay strong. Two ropes. Here's 20 meters of rope, and then a big joint. Here's <laughs> That is not too scary. <laughs> 20 meters of rope. That? That is around... What? That's like 1,000 kilometers off the moon. That's even way more than that. Because the moon is way further than... Edge. That is so fucked up. There's a rope and a big joint. And you just do that all the way back to it. Love huh. it. Okay, you'll need like 150,000 kilometers worth of rope. Easily but done. once you're there, all of a sudden you can just pull things across it right what am i missing um there is the, this <laughs> i love this i love the science in this it's like just fucking all over the place the weight of the moon and the earth is way further than what the rope can actually handle so the rope is gonna just break apart first of all or take a piece of like it just it's gonna break easily it's one thing Yes. Um, I think the moon moves. So what you're going to end up doing is sort of like wrapping the earth round. Ah. That's the no. one problem. Otherwise, it's, it's going to break. <laughs> I've got a solution. In All a few right. seconds. There's a rail across earth. Rail. Oh, my God. That's a good oh, idea. that's genius. Wait, that's what I was going to say. Right. Uh, <laughs> and then you've got your hook in here. Mm. It's allowed to slide through the rail. So in theory, we could like lasso the moon in. I yeah. doubt it. To us. Are there any minerals on the moon <laughs> worth having? Any resources? There is a fair amount of helium and also helium-3. Ew. Well, we are running out of helium, so that is convenient. There's a pretty good amount of water all over the moon, too, so that's why, you know, soon there'll be... We're more... never gonna run out of helium. What are you talking helium about? Helium and they'll be able to collect most so of much the helium that they oh, need. Soon, soon there'll so be much. a moon base. Oh, they've been promising mm. moon Absolutely. base for years. They've been promising moon base for Lunar longer base. James Cameron's been promising yeah. Avatar. And honestly, <laughs> sick of this shit. Well, you know what I'm not sick of? Ad time. Oh, yes. How's this for a scenario? You're with your honey, and you both have regular size heads, but you have to share a headphone. Well, you <laughs> that was so stupid. God. Lose. The correct answer was to get Raycons. Look, she's with someone new and she's loving the up to 54 hours of battle life and she can't stop putting them in her ears. The uh -huh. silky rubber finish is ribbed for her pleasure. Oh uh, my quiz, god. Shut. It's Black Friday and it's time to stomp some heads. You gotta win her back by getting her some kind of present. I don't want to spend too much money. Of the control what control team you there? Well, I get the Raycons. They're half the price of other premium brands, but still sound pretty good. Go to buyraycon.com slash incognito to get them. Look, this guy loves them. All right, one final scenario. You're walking down the street and you see a homeless man and he asks you for a donation. You've only got one thing on you that's of any value. What do you do? Oh my god. Take advantage of the noise reduction? <laughs> uh, uh, Fuck you, that's so right. fucked up. <laughs> Where you can enjoy just the premium sound of recons. Forever. Oh my god. We've got a computer shit. here too where you can go to buyraycon.com slash incognito to get 20% off site wide. Whoa, 30% off holiday bundles. Whoa, this really is heavy. That's brilliant. And free shipping to the United States. Oh. Head over. Racism, nice. Say you had a box and you put it on like a little satellite that you were going to send to an alien yeah. planet. Like, what items would you. Like a little satellite. That is the sound of Normandy scanning for Reapers. And Reapers the, returning back the <laughs> returning back like this 
the fucking yeah, signal, you know, in area. Mass Effect Planet. 3. Like, what items would you put in there to represent, like, human civilization? Good question. How big's a box? Let's say it's the size of, like, a caravan. Oh, big. Okay, definitely nice. a person, then. <laughs> okay, just like yeah. a dude. Like a dead guy? <laughs> or just... Yeah, Why yeah, a dead guy? Dead. That's fine. That's not a bad idea. Like, a dead guy who's, like, kept from oxygen so he doesn't rot. So they've got, like, a fully preserved... I'll just keep him in a cardboard box. He's preserved gonna be... Dumping. He's yes, gonna so be we... preserved anyway. It's so f there is no air. Yeah, the There's no bacteria in bigger. air. I like the idea that when they just open up the flaps of the cardboard box, they... Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. I Christ. think you have a man and a woman. Mm. The, yeah. A phone. A phone. Like an iPhone. Yeah, you wouldn't have okay. to give them the latest one because they don't know. An iPhone 5 or a cracked screen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Not no, a good Nokia exactly, hammer yeah, phone. Fuck it. I'd probably get rid of just some trash. There's quite a lot of trash around. And some batteries. Yeah, because you can't dispose <laughs> of batteries anywhere. Yeah. Bottle of Coke. You know, full bottle. I kind of like the idea that you're... Okay, so you know when you're a pirate, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm familiar. And you're burying treasure. Someone finds it 500 years later and they go, Wow, this is not just a historical find. I'm going to be rich. Love yeah. that. I like the idea that they find a couple of human corpses, but also half Coke. a dozen bottles of Coca-Cola. <laughs> There's going to be some rich one. Who's Honey like, lemon Coke. Yeah, I'll pay you oh, 50 Jesus. billion alien pesos for half a bottle or something. I think that's the first actually like really good suggestion. Alien the alien pesos. box. I love it that it's pesos. <laughs> what the fucking ass? It's also a very popular drink and like a good representation of Western of a, society. Yeah. It's, it's everywhere in the world. Mm. True. Great. And also, it, they might be pleased they were like oh this is a treat or maybe it'll kill them but great suggestion ah oh, thank you maybe captain's also... probably gonna kill him music i reckon <laughs> music mozart on a Ooh, vinyl yes yeah. uh, another good mozart and tmt's palette no 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 error no fuck there's so many good ones just just top 100 at Holy Life songs top 100 in the designer songs and of course top uh, 50 galactic songs of all time One. A handgun? Yeah, just to show them that we mean business <laughs> would be good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll rig it up to a tripwire. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> What's the point of the dead people inside? You want them to find right, it you're anyways. You're in space. You're floating around. Sweet. Oh, my God. Loving it. You're in a spacesuit. I come floating up to you. Are your ordinary things. Help. Help. My oxygen tank has been pierced. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. Ooh. Put your oh, hand on it. That sucks for you. No, no, He's as easy no, as that. No, that's not what you say. Now, <laughs> we've got just enough time. Quick, we can both survive, but we're gonna both have to get into the same spacesuit. Uh, I've that's been impossible. Like <laughs> <laughs> so we have to both squeeze in there. The question is, I love are it that you taking so, the... I love it that there's such good friends that he immediately knows what he's on about. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to both squeeze in there. The question is, are you taking the front or the back? <laughs> the front, uh, obviously. I'll take the front. I think. Yeah. I'd rather be in the driver's seat. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I trust you. I oh, swear, that's just my wallet. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gay go if on. it's on the moon. <laughs> yeah, like it's legitimately, not, like you come back to Earth not. and they'll go, no, it wasn't. It's the moon. It doesn't count at all. It doesn't count. No. <laughs> it stays on the Bob moon. Aldrin. They could have done it on the moon. Yeah. That wouldn't have been. Why the wouldn't they I though? Mean, I suppose Idiots. Like, we, 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 were, we were lovers on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's different. We were lovers on the moon. You know, that's different. Someone shut this man up. <laughs> right, so Frozen space. Answer. Ordinary things. You may see the universe, but we can't travel faster than the speed of light, so you have to go into the cryopod. Ah, the old time delay. Yes, you can go to Alpha Centauri, but it will take a hundred years and everyone you know will be dead. Do you do it? Maybe hmm. basically life delay, not time delay. Like launched into the equivalent of Mars in Alpha Centauri <laughs> and just be like, "Well, I'm here and I'm dead." You get to go on like a nice big ship. Maybe there's a nice with, lady with resources, there who's right? Also frozen. Uh, yeah, nice little lady, a nice A-list celeb lady yeah, who bro. is inexplicably an astronaut, <laughs> as in all those movies. Yeah, and you wake her up yeah. early, and and because you woke up early, and uh oh. Yeah, and it turns out she's a psychopath. Welcome. <laughs> oh, whoops. 
see, but you don't have another choice, so you have to be my friend. Would you do it? Would you want to be one of the crew that goes to Alpha Centauri? I think I would. Mm. I think it's worth it to go do something that literally no one else has done before. I'm, I'm down. Yeah, I think I would too. Yeah. If you were one of the first people to Alpha Centauri, you'd just have thousands of things named after you forever the whole planet you get the planet yeah if, yeah. if it's your life, you're the land population like, this to... is me <laughs> <laughs> the kill is already dead oh no and baby <laughs> yeah no government money is banned <laughs> no money but money no food nothing you have nothing and <laughs> i haven't thought this well, through you know if you look at a place like earth every creek every little nook or rock has a name to it they did that like when people first came to Australia and I can't help but notice that everything here is named either Murray <laughs> or or uh, or after Batman or um after Batman. <laughs> Wait. Batman? You don't know about everything being Batman? called Batman here? No, that's new to me. <laughs> that's oh, there's this guy his name's huh. like John Batman and so there's like a Batman River and like a Batman street You're kidding. in the middle of Melbourne. No, <laughs> no that's way. that's awesome. Batman. I oh really didn't God, know I'm that. Looking him up now. What? Look, controversy over massacres. Batman, like you said, has been challenged. The 21st century mass criticism has focused on killings of indigenous people in Tam Tas Tasmania in 2016. 2016? Goombri Park, after Goombri, Jesse Hunter, Great Nisa, Wingley, Leader, William, and the last girl born on the contract reserve in. Oh, what the fuck? In the past, mm. how long did it take for people to get from England to Australia? What was months! Like? Oh, months! Like a month? Years. Yeah, a couple of months. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's so it's like, yeah. okay, how long does it take to get to Mars? If At everything was speed, cool, the person. <laughs> rover took seven months to get to the Mars. NASA estimated. Humans would take nine months to arrive. Makes nine sense. Nine months? So what you're we saying have a is baby. that we should put all our criminals on Mars. Hey, it worked once. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It, How come Australia doesn't get a bit of a pass with a lot of its history? That's a fair point. <laughs> True. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, the terrible As long as you're not first generation, they should... But it's like, okay, right. but have you seen the average criminal reoffending rates? <laughs> What did you expect? <laughs> yeah, it's not like we sent them our best. Oh my god. <laughs> should... I've never thought about it like that, but that's honestly like a really decent argument for giving Australia a pass. But like... Yeah, although it means they did all this stuff while they were out on probation. I mean, that's... The... I mean, that's now, the point! Now goes, oh, what the heck? That is why they were in Australia heck, to begin with. Why'd you demote Pluto from planet to There's no probation planet. for that. Yes. And... I can't help but agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now everybody goes, oh, what the heck? Why'd you demote Pluto from planet so to small. dwarf planet? Yes. And I can't help but agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically, they had an idea in mind to make Pluto not Massive. a planet, and then they changed all the rules to make it fit their space-based agenda. Celestial huh. identity politics have gone too far. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's three rules for a planet. Number one, it must orbit a star. Okay, very good. We're Makes all on sense. board for that, and that's one of the old rules. That's fine. I can accept that. Mm. Asteroids, not planets. Cool. Number two, it must be big enough to have enough gravity to force it into a spherical shape. Agreed. That's a brilliant yes. one. Fine, I'll accept that. But if we see a cube planet at some point, then I feel like we will need to revisit this rule. But as it stands, But fine. it's not a planet if that's... It's a cube, it's not a planet. It's like a cube... Planet. No. Cube... Planet. No, I don't know. Yeah, if there was something as big as Earth, but somehow <laughs> Jesus, cube... That's you, awesome. That changed the rules. some Minecraft shit. Yeah. Now, the new rule they brought in was... It must be big enough that its gravity clears away any other objects of similar size in its orbit. Bullshit. That is a very specific rule yeah. just designed to persecute Pluto. Who came up with this rule? First well, and second rule are shit. Made up of the <laughs> deep space state. 
Mm. Big pharma. And <laughs> one of the reasons that they essentially made this rule was Is because, that true? well, Pluto actually has a moon that's almost the same size as Pluto. So Pluto wouldn't even just be one planet. It would be like several planets. But also, out in the Oort cloud, there are probably similar sized planets to Pluto, but hundreds maybe thousands of them. I see. And so actually, in even in our own given solar system, there would be thousands of them. So what they're running into is a naming problem because, well, we can't teach kids that there are thousands of planets. Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay, easily. Okay, it turns out there are thousands of planets and a lot of them are really boring and far away. Okay, but here's the main nine. Yeah, here's the big nine. Let's one not even remove one of them. Let's small yeah. planets and be done with it. There's also a couple of objects in the... Kuiper belt, I think, that would Kuiper. suddenly qualify as planets. So Ceres would suddenly become a planet. Ceres? Well, well even is Ceres. Oh, Ceres. Oh, okay. But that's clearly a moon. It looks like a moon. Well, it's not what it looks like. It's how it acts, isn't it? Uh, it's in the orbit between Mars and Jupiter. Oh, well, why don't we just make Ceres a planet? Yes. <laughs> instead. Absolutely. To be honest, I'm just going to show my ignorance a little bit. I've never heard of Ceres before. <laughs> in a way, I feel like you've just made this up to make me look... <laughs> How? Cities is in multiple video games. Not just, not just like uh, planet wise. Wait, what's make make? It maki, is a maki, name too. Maki Maki. It's <laughs> that type of super. Maki Maki. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's another Maybe planet it just further out. Oh, I love it. It's cute. I mean, it's a dwarf planet, but. Oh, why does one of yeah. them have boobies? Oh, oh that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have no need for that. Come on. Eris? Oh, it's a dwarf planet. That's as well. Jupiter. I'm with learning boobs. new things here. Well, no more learning. It's time for some answers, damn it. Yeah. Big question. Oh my time. god, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Are there any aliens? No. All right. Is yes, the there universe are. infinite? It's like a bike wheel. Technically, it's infinite, but you just end up where you were in the first place. That's good enough for me. What? Uh, is there a god? Yes, and it's me. <laughs> Suck my. <laughs> there, there, there we go. <laughs> Will Suck we them. ever find out all of the mysteries of the universe? No fucking way. What if day. we already have? I'll, t I'll tell you what it is. The real answer. <laughs> It's love. Fuck uh, you! That's all you need. <laughs> Space or love, which is bigger? And if you could only have one, what would you have? Oh, that's uh, what difficult. About space love. Is that like oh, zero shit. G shagging? Yeah, yeah. Where you're on the moon. Not Mass Effect Andromeda, and this bring fucking Liara or fucking Tally, the best girls of the fucking universe. What the fuck is that Mass Effect Andromeda counting shit doing there, man? Why am I so angry about this? And someone says like, Oh, I, I, I love you. It's like kind of non-committal and they don't really hear you on the radio and you go, what? And they go, oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh. What if you're on the moon and then they go in to kiss and then they accidentally Bomb. shatter <laughs> their space helmets? You no. kiss again, you kiss. Like two people vigorously Yeah, you know, getting on like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Moon love turns to moon tragedy. Uh, you know, it must happen all the time. On the moon, in the future, we'll all have Raycons. <laughs> Space. <laughs> that was that was really good. That was one of the best ones. That was one of the best ones right after weapons. And of course children. That was one of the best ones. Thanks for watching if Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And of course, thanks for creating this amazing thing to internet the studio. See you all later.